Back at Moon Express's headquarters in Mountain View, California, the engineering team is ready to build the ship that will actually fly to the moon. Just doing some uh, final checks of the plumbing and the fits and everything for the propulsion. We have the modeling on the bottom, too, where we see the main thrusters. Yeah. All there. OK, great. So um, we can just basically send these drawings out to, uh, to fabrication and prototyping, right? The biggest challenge for Moon Express, or anyone else trying to mine the moon, will be the landing. If you take what Adrian's saying about avionics and extend that to the whole system, it really is about reducing mass and reducing mass. Reducing so that the dark spots of the moon are really the more smooth spots. And, and as you go to the poles of the moon, you know, see very mountainous terrain down at the south pole of the moon, where we're going to go. Nobody's been able to land on the poles yet. That's a real challenge. Precious minerals are spread all over the moon, but the economics of bringing them back to Earth forces Moon Express to attempt a landing in the moon's most treacherous terrain. The Apollo astronauts glided in for easy landings on flat ground near the equator. But in the rugged landscape near the South Pole, there are deep craters that never see sunlight. In those permanent shadows is a thick layer of icy soil that ice can be converted into rocket fuel and used to launch payloads of precious minerals back to Earth. So we're going to learn land in the southern hemisphere, and then our future missions make our way down to where the real pay dirt is, where the water is concentrated in the moon, and hopefully a lot more resources. The South Pole alone has enough water to produce fuel to do 2,300 years worth of shuttle missions launching one a day. That's a lot of fuel. That is the basis for a corporation that is larger than any that has previously been formed in human history, at least 10 times larger than the largest oil company that was ever put together in the last 100 years. The moon could be the Persian Gulf of the solar system. Whoever controls its resources will be the first cosmic oil barons. But Moon Express is facing stiff competition 